here right by Angel Stadium in Orange County. More than a thousand people supposedly have set up their tents here. Authorities, local officials have been trying to shut this down, been doing raids, and we're here just to check it out to see what's going to happen with this area. Where are people going to go? There might be an opening. This is right next to preferred parking for Angel Stadium. <laughs> All right. So, Alexander, what are you doing down here? Preparing for battle. <laughs> Looks like there's camps within the camps. Angels it's like camp. burning man for poor people. Completely. <laughs> burning man for poor people. What's your dog's name? Um, Dolly. Dolly? How is it like living here as a female? It's really scary. It's a little warm down here. Have you had any incidences with authorities trying to take down the tents? Yeah, not mine though, because I'm like, but they took down the one store and ripped down everything and threw it away right in front of them. What's your goal? Um, just to get housing and get on my feet and, you know, go back to work. Yeah. Do you have family around here? My son went to go live with his dad. She's so cute. My mom, she lives down the street. In a house? Or? Yeah. Does she know that you're here? Yeah, she does. She's not happy about it. Uh, I looked for work for like a year and I just gave up. I just got like severely depressed. So. It's hard. It's hard. It's, it's really hard, hard out hard. there. And then, you know, you drive by all the homeless, like, you know, at the park or something, and you're like, I'll never get to that, you know? And then you get to that. So we're going to get a tour of where she's been living for the last six months. Okay. This is the entryway. This is, like, the porch. Sure you know. Let's come inside. And this is where she lives. She's working on putting carpet down. She has a twin-size bed. These are all her belongings. There's a lot of flies in here right now. You're depressed. Yeah. So these things like putting on your makeup, painting your nails, it helps you get out of your depression. Yeah, yeah. What about yeah. dating? You're a pretty uh, girl. Yeah, they all the guys come over and ask, like, you know, bring me food or... Oh, you got suitors. Yeah, and they'll, <laughs> like, ask me out. Oh, oh, oh that's sweet of you. Thank yeah, you. Very sweet. Very sweet. You seem to me like you have a lot of pride. I do. Mm -hmm. yeah. And maybe asking for support is not the easiest thing to do for you. And so have you gone to the point of like, were you standing on the road and asking people for money and food? No, I won't do that, I won't do that. She has all her clothes. That's like her closet right there, neatly lined up. It's nice hard. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's up with, with the knife? Is it protection? Is it for food? How's this work? This is a knife I, uh, someone just gave me to. This is my place. It's perfect me out of here. You don't have to leave till it's such and such. Where are you gonna go? My friend is, has to turn himself in, he has to do a year. He wants me to watch his place while he's in. So that works out? Yeah. Not for him, but for you? Yeah. He's been here for almost two years, and he said that he's stuck. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Hey, I'm alive. Aw, oh, that's good. Do you mind if we talk to you? How long have you been here for? Uh, close to three years. Three years? Yeah. Why did you have to move out here? I lost the job remodeling uh, houses because we finished the job, so there was no, no more work, and my brother ended up losing his job, so we just lost the house that we were in, and we were here. Are these bikes stolen? No, so I really don't mess with stolen bikes. I try not to, and yeah, if someone comes by and says, hey, that's my bike that was stolen for me, I usually give it back. How much do you sell the bikes for? Well, I can sell a bike anywhere from 20 bucks to 120 bucks. I don't have any cash on me, but I have to say I am tempted on buying a bike. There's a lot of politics going on with the situation, a lot of red tape. The people behind us are from the city of Orange County. They didn't want to be filmed. Essentially, they're social workers that are here seven days a week trying to support and provide services to the people here to get them out and also to get them off the streets. 